Hi. In this video, I will show how I made a simple knitting chart using Excel. First, open up Excel and click on blank workbook. To make the lines easier to see, select the entire chart by clicking in the small square in the upper left corner. Click on the Home tab at the top. Click on the down arrow on the borders icon and select all borders. I can change the size of the cells to more accurately represent my gauge. If you know your gauge, divide the stitch gauge by the row gauge. I will use 5 stitches and 7 rows per inch as an example. 5 divided by 7 is 71 hundredths, so I will make my cells 71 pixels tall and 100 pixels wide. To do this, I make sure the entire chart is selected and then drag the lines at the top and the side until I get the size I want. Once I have my cell size set, I can lock them so I don't accidentally change the size. First, select the entire sheet. Then, Click on Home and find the Number tab. Click on the little arrow to open the dialog box. Click on the Protection tab and uncheck the locked box. Then click OK. Finally, click Review at the top and click Protect Sheet. Check all the boxes except Format Columns and Format Rows. This allows me to do anything within the cells, but locks the size of the cells. If I want to zoom in and out, I can use the zoom slider at the bottom right or click and hold the control and alt keys while pressing the plus or minus key on my keyboard. Once I have my cells set up, I can start adding symbols for stitches. I can center my symbols inside the cells by selecting the entire sheet, clicking on home at the top and clicking on middle align and center on the alignment tab. I change the font size of my symbols too by selecting a number from the font size dropdown. Some symbols you could use are the letter V for slip stitches, dots for purl stitches, the letter O for yarn overs, and slashes for single decreases. By default, Excel uses the forward slash for a compatibility mode. When I type the forward slash, I get this. I can easily turn this off. Click on File, then Options at the bottom. Click on the Advanced tab at the left and scroll all the way down to Lotus Compatibility. Delete the forward slash in the box and click OK. I am now able to type a forward slash in my chart. For special symbols, for example, if I want to use a black dot for purl stitches, click on Insert at the top, then Symbol over at the right. Here I get a chart of various symbols. I can scroll through and select the one I want to use and click Insert to place it in the selected cell. Here is a simple chart that I made for a sock pattern. I can insert more rows or columns if needed by selecting them, right-clicking, and clicking Insert. Here, I will add a couple of rows at the top so I can number my stitches. Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave questions and comments below. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe.